Hello, everyone. Welcome back to English Seven Class. This is Teacher Adam, and it's my joy to help you learn today. We are off to tackling the second to the last part of speech on our list. I hope you guys still remember the first six lessons that we had. But before we jump into our topic for today, I want you to guess what emotions the following emojis express. How many emotions of emojis were you able to guess correctly? I bet it was not as easy as you thought it was, right? Like emojis, our next part of speech expresses different emotions. It may not be as popular as the other parts of speech, but it is equally important. Today, we are going to talk about interjections. Before we start our discussion, here are the topics that you will learn today. First, we will know what interjections are. Next, you will see a lot of examples of interjections. Lastly, you will learn how to punctuate interjections correctly. Let's begin! Basically, an interjection is a word that expresses feeling or emotion. So, what kind of feeling or emotion do interjections really express? Interjections can express a variety of sentiments, such as happiness, fear, anger, pain, surprise, sorrow, exhaustion, or even hesitation. There would actually be an interjection for every kind of emotion. Here are examples. Wow, I got a prize from the claw machine. Oh, I forgot to bring my project. Phew, I just finished answering my online exam. The interjection in the first sentence, wow, expresses both surprise and happiness. The interjection on the second sentence, oh, expresses worry and disappointment. Phew on the third sentence expresses relief. So 
some common examples of interjections are the following. Yeah, which expresses joy. Yuck, which expresses disgust. Or, aha, which is an expression used by someone who finds or discovers something. Here are more examples of interjections. There are important things that you must know about interjections. Here they are. First, interjections function independently in a sentence. This means that unlike the other parts of speech, they are not connected to the other parts of a sentence. They stand by themselves. Second, interjections don't have any grammatical relation to any word or group of words in a sentence. Third, some interjections are not even actual words. They just represent the sounds they express. Just like, uh, or, hmm. When writing interjections, there are two punctuation marks that are used. A comma or an exclamation point is used to set off an interjection from the other parts of a sentence. Check out these examples. Well, what do you think about my costume? Ouch! You stepped on my toe! Based on the example sentences, when an interjection is spoken calmly, a comma follows it, just like when you are saying, shh, the baby is sleeping. But when the interjection expresses more emotion or strong emotion, it is followed by an exclamation point, just like when saying, stop, step on the brakes. Reminder, when an exclamation point is used to punctuate an interjection, the word that comes next must begin with a capital letter. Notice the following examples. Hey, how are you doing? No, you were unreasonable. Great, that's the best news I heard today. If you will be in the following situations, what interjection will you use to express yourself?
time for your exercise. On your notebook, write five sentences containing interjections that express the following emotions. Underline the interjections in your sentences and punctuate them correctly. Before we end with the discussion, allow me to share with you a Bible verse related to our lesson. Jeremiah 17 9 The heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Since our topic for today is about expressing emotions through the use of interjections, our verse will also be about it. An important reminder is given to us. It is telling us to be extra careful in expressing how we feel, as what we feel may sometimes trick us. Ever wondered why our brain is placed above our heart? It may be because God wants us to think than to get carried away by how we feel. Emotions can trigger us to get mad at an instant, cry at a drop of a hat, and fester unforgiveness in one's heart. Let us not allow our emotions to lead us to sinning. Instead, in prayer, let the Lord take control of our being. Glory to God! That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. If there are parts of the discussion that are unclear to you, you have the choice to watch this video again, or you may also take note of your questions and ask them on our live session. Before I say goodbye, I'd like to thank and acknowledge the following sources that made this learning material possible. It's a wrap. Once again, thank you. Godless, stay safe till I see you again. This is Teacher Adam signing off. Bye.